Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another garden video. So you may notice I am still in the same outfit. I filmed my garden tour this morning, which was fun since my garden has not been touched for at least a month and a half. Mom and I went on a European cruise for a month, including travel days. This baby has been severely neglected. There's literally weeds like a vine back there trying to take over my house. So this morning I filmed that tour because I figured, you know, can't show you the pretty times, got to show you all of it. And then we started actually planting our milk jugs with our overwintered seedlings, foxgloves, lupin, um, asters, and poppies uh, this morning but the lupins we have to let soak overnight. So I figured I had planned a whole day of garden maintenance. I might as well start the maintenance. So this is gonna be a lot of just watch me work on stuff. So if that's not your thing, then I'm sorry, but let's get to work. Got my scissors. We're gonna be pruning where need be. We're gonna be pulling out weeds. Um, there are some annuals that I'll be completely pulling out since we're now in fall. I'm not completely replanting the whole garden for another season. Obviously, I know a lot of people do that, but that's, who has the money for that? I don't. So we're just kind of cleaning up. And then I did get behind y'all a few mums and a few pansies that were a really good price that we're going to plant kind of in the fronts of things. So we'll probably have to do that in a different video. I think we have a couple days worth of weeds to deal with. So we'll just see how far we get. It's gonna be a while. All right, y'all. So I got through most of this garden, harvested my first watermelon, had a nice yellow sweat on the bottom. So hopefully it will taste good. I have a couple more that are growing. So we'll see um, if they get big enough to harvest before the frost comes. But you know, Alabama, we've still got plenty of warm time. So mom actually came over a little bit and helped me wind the wisteria back up the tree. Um, every time it grows, I gotta rewind those runners. So I can go ahead and keep working over here. I have a feeling this is, might take more than one day. This might take many days, but I'm excited. All right, y'all, I am hot, I am tired, but I am done. So it's not perfect, but for fall cleanup, pretty happy with it. Going to plant some fall things. I've got some mums and some pansies, maybe some snapdragons, we'll see. Not sure about those, um, but we're not doing a whole lot. Mainly we're gonna hit a couple of these front places like right in here, right in here. <laughs> that I see every day when I'm walking by. I did clean out these two pots. Um, unfortunately, the Super Tunia Vista whites that I wanted to show you, the snowdrops, um, in all their glory were in all their glory while I was on my trip. But a lot of times the Super Tunias, Proven Winter Super Tunias do come back in our climate. So I did not throw them away. I gave them a haircut. I replanted them out in the landscape. We will see if they make a comeback or not. 
If so, I will show you next year. If they don't, then we'll toss them next year. I'll show you either way. But for now, I'll give you a quick overview of how the garden looks after its cleanup. And then tomorrow, I'm going into town. So I'm going to hit two, three more um, Lowe's and Home Depot's and garden nurseries. I'm looking for one more color of either pansy or viola. And if I can find some, some purple ornamental um, cabbages. If I can find those, then I'll start planting all my fall. If not, I'll start planting my fall with what I've got. So until then, bye. All right, y'all. So down here, I went ahead and I deadheaded all my roses. I cleaned out all my lamb's ear and any of my annuals, like the salvia right here, that still has green coming up. I went ahead and just cut back the dead. So the foxgloves here, you can see there's still some green coming up. Hopefully they will come back next year. They are biannual, so it just depends. Um, but I just cut back anything that was 100% dead. The rest of the annuals I will leave until they are a bit more dead. And then I will pull those out. But you can see I've started placing. Couldn't help it. Went to the store last night and found some purple cabbage. So I've started placing those. I'm going to do some cabbage and then pansies where these annuals were. And then I might do some pansies just right around this corner, maybe to the butterfly bush. And then we're not going to go any further down with fall plantings because we could literally just do an entire fall garden down here. But you can see this section right here, right in front of my porch, always is such a problem area. This side gets sun and is beautiful, and this side gets hidden by the first side and is not beautiful. So if we look at it from over here, it's great. Look at it from over there, not great. Clean out this bit, and we're going to put some cabbage, flowering cabbage and pansies here. But you can just see, like, we got all the big weeds back there clean out all the lambs here so that it can keep growing big and beautiful over the winter months. The lambs here in our climate does typically stay fairly green. Now I cut all the really dead out of these zinnias. They look awful. I'm definitely not planting them here next year. They were supposed to be like this little guy that sprouted up in the rocks. They were supposed to be this size. And they are definitely not the gal I ordered the seeds from. Just labeled them or sent me the wrong ones. I don't know. But they're still beautiful zinnias. We'll just plant them further back in the bed next year. But there's the rest of my fall plants. Cleaned this all out. We gave all the salvia a haircut. And hopefully it will bloom one more time before the cold. You can see we... We just took all the dead out. We went down through here and we took most of the weeds out. I still need to weed a little bit down here and up through this gravel path. Um, cleaned out through here and I still need to train the roses. But other than that, everything is cleaned up from our trip. Like I said, though, we still have a... Somebody's getting a delivery. We still have plenty of warm weather through November. Our first frost isn't until November 15th, which is a month away. So we're not going to do too much pulling of annuals until then. So hope you liked this little cleanup video. And I'm going to go start planting my fall things so that they can get established before that first frost comes. See y'all later.